Hello, Tim Taylor here. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you uh, how you can uh, create a custom map uh, using the new Google Maps. It's another video I created where you can do the classic view uh, and create a map. And, and you can do either one when it comes down to your assignment uh, for the class. Uh, I'm to be honest with you, I'm not, I haven't really warmed up to the new classic or the new maps yet, new look of it. So uh, I'm going to do the best I can here to show you how you basically can take care of the assignment. Uh, but again, you can use either one, either the classic maps view or this new one that comes down to, to completing your assignment. So, so here we go. All right, so basically I've already gone into maps and I've already logged in. So you can see my username there. So what I need to do in order to create a map is you go to this gear, your settings icon, and you go to my places. And then basically you'll get to this screen here. And then it looks kind of familiar to what the old classic map view looked like. All right. And you see some other ones I've had in the past. And we have a couple I've been kind of explore, uh, exploring with a little bit. Uh, obviously you want to create a map. Here's a little red button that says create map. And notice here you can go back to the classics if you want. All right. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and again try the new style. So I'm going to create map. And what comes up is this. is Really what you're doing is you're using something called Maps Engine Lite. I put a link uh, in the course that explains these different type of options uh, when it comes to using this map engine light. There is a pro version that you can get. Uh, you'll see that option. We start getting into this. Uh, of all these, the main thing we're going to talk about or use is actually the drawing tools. All right. So uh, and also you can take a tour if you want if you want to do that to kind of go get an overview of the new new look. So I'm going to click on new map. And basically what it does it comes up with this interface here. And what I'm going to do uh, is, again, for your assignment, you need to have two place marks, one line, one shape. You need to make sure you have a name for them in the description, and then also name your map. Uh, so uh, first of all, over on the left-hand side here, it says Untitled Map. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to go ahead and give them a map a name. I'm going to suggest do that first. So I'm going to go ahead and call it Route to uh, Strasburg Museum. And we'll go ahead and hit Save. You know, I can all have a room there. I could also put a description. Uh, now, notice here what it does. This this new tool gives you the ability to, to, to make layers, and you got to have at least one layer when it comes down to creating your map. Uh, so, uh, you know, the default is untitled layer. So, basically, I need to click here, and I need to name the layer. And uh, basically, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up down here. Uh, you know, path to museum. Showing beginning and end. You can put whatever you want there. Save. All right. And what you want to do really is 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 put in the address where you want to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the address of my home. If I can spell it right, that would help. Here it is, Stromberg, Virginia. Okay, and it brings it up. And obviously here it's still not, it hasn't zoomed in enough. So over in the bottom right-hand corner here, you see the plus and minus. I just keep clicking on that. And notice now as I'm starting zooming in, I can start seeing the roads a whole lot easier. But what it does is it puts a place mark right there for my for uh, my home because I put the address in. And right here is my museum. There's actually an icon already for there, but we're going to make our own to show you how to take care of the assignment. All right, so basically I click on this. You know, it tells me this is the details that I got. Now, what I want to do, though, in order to actually create my map, is I want to actually add a place or a marker here. So I come up, and I click on Add Marker. All right, and what I can do here now is I can click. All right, and notice here, okay, and I actually put, if I want to, I put it right over top of that if I want. All right, and I click on it. I'll click off, and I click back on. And what I can do here now says point one. And notice I come up here. It says I have the little edit pencil here, so I can go and click edit. All right, and I can go ahead and say, okay, this is my home. And here I can actually put a URL here. I can add it. So I can actually put a link to a website here if I want to. If I've got a website about my home, I can. I think I know in the older version you can actually put a link like to an image as well. So I'm almost sure you can do that as well. You can go out and find an image, uh, the URL for an image, and add it. It's not necessary as a side of something you can explore. And again, just a little description area. You know, this is where my home is in Strasburg. You can just put whatever here that's fitting for your, your location you're using. So I go ahead and hit save. 
All right, now notice I can also get directions from here uh, if I want to. I can also just delete this feature once I'm done. But notice now that I have this here, uh, I click here, but notice I can go over here and it shows my home. And uh, what I can do is I can click, and what I can do is I can change the color. And I'll go ahead and go with purple. And you'll see it change right here. But I can also change the icon shape. If I want to do I can make it a circle, okay, a square, whatever here. Notice there's more icons. And notice here is where I can get an icon that might be more specific to what I'm doing. And notice they have categories here. And notice if you want more than these at the bottom, it says upgrade to the pro, and you can get more icons. So really, I'm going to go ahead and look here. Maybe this might be applicable kind of close to like a house. I can click on that and do OK. All right, and there, see, it goes in and puts that there uh, on my map for 144 High Street. OK, so I can close that out. Uh, notice you also see style and data and labels. Uh, if I click on style, there's like individual styles, and this lets you basically take care of your own colors, et cetera. But there's different ones here. There's like a uniform style, puts uniform colors. If you do sequence of colors and letters, it actually puts like letters A, B, C, D as you go ahead and do your, your route. Actually, just for a ghost tour path. Uh, you can also do style by data and column, individual styles. Uh, again, I'm going to keep the defaults individual styles, I'm going to keep it on that. Uh, data again is an option where you can put information from a table. Again, that's something you explore on your own. I also put again a link where some of this ex stuff is explained more. Then also customize the feature labels on the map. If I click here, in other words, I can have no labels. Uh, in other words, I can put uh, it can show the name. If you look on the right, see it says shows the name of my location. Okay. If I do description, it will show the description that I put on there. Okay, if I do no label, nothing shows up. I prefer to use the name, so it says, okay, there it is. That's my home. All right, so there I go ahead and have an icon here for my home. Okay, this right here, I'll just go ahead and boom, get rid of that. Okay. Let me slide that there over top of that. Okay, all right, now what I want to go here then is go ahead and then draw the, the route. Okay, the path to the Strasbourg Museum, which is down here. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go here to this tool. And what I can do is I can actually start drawing. So I can go ahead and click. And what I can do is I just click here. And every place I click, you just I can continue the line. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to here and click. And then down here is the Strasbourg Museum, and I'm going to click. All right, once I'm done with the line, I click on the very last endpoint. All right, so there it is. I'm just going to say... Uh, route. I'm gonna say, I'll say driving route because there's another route that I walk to museum. Again, very similar to the same dialog box when I put that other plate mark, place mark. So I hit save. All right. And again, if I want to go back and edit, I can do that. I'll say I put a description in here, and I do want you to put a description for everything you have. So I can just say, you know, driving. Route to Strasbourg Museum from my home. Go ahead and save that. All right, I'm good there. And again, now if I want to change anything about the color of it or anything like that, I can come here and click. Okay, again, if I want to make it purple, I can. You can see the color changing over here. You can change your line width by just dragging that. All right, I like the line of the size it was, so we'll leave it with that. So there's other things you can change right there. All right, so go ahead and again, you can always delete things by just hitting that delete feature if you need to start over again. All right, there's an icon for Strasbourg Museum, and again, just for the assignment, I'll go ahead and add another one because uh, we need to have two place marks. So I'll go ahead and click here. All right, in the museum, I'll go ahead and click right there, and I'll put this label. This is the Strasbourg Museum. And description, I'll say best little museum in Virginia. If you all get a chance to visit it, I hope you do. It is a very nice museum. Uh, I can go ahead and hit save again over here. Then uh, on the left, it shows up here in my list. If I want to check it, click, I can change the color. Again, I can go down here to more icons. You know, there's some here might be more fitting for a museum. I don't really know. There's facilities and services. 
Uh, I don't think it's even really applicable when it comes here. Now here's recreation, uh, transportation, uh, railroad's cool. We have a railroad caboose there, so I'm going to go ahead and just use a little railroad uh, uh, engine there. So I'm going to put that for the Strasburg Museum. Okay. All right, and again, you can make other different changes there if you want. All right, and then the other thing you got to do is also go ahead and then put a uh, shape on your map. And off this, to the side of the Strasburg Museum is actually a nice little area where we hold at various events, we make apple butter. We also have uh, other activities when it comes down to uh, we have a caboose out there and also a model railroad is set up in a railroad car. So we have a little activity area. So I'm going to go ahead and label that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on my map and I'm going to drag here. But basically the area is right over here. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and click here again my liner shape tool. So what I can do is I can basically come here. It's kind of like a triangle shape. And what I can do is I just basically, as long as I close this thing in, see it recognizes that, hey, this is a polygon. So I'm going to basically call it a, a museum activity area. All right. Area, we make apple butter and have other activities. All right, now I can hit save. All right, and again, if you want to edit it, you can go right there. But again, you can go over here, and I can click. And again, I can change the color of it. Okay, notice I have transparency. And if I go to here, basically it's solid all the way to the left. If I go here, it's just basically an outline. I can also change my border width again. Okay, I'm just going to make it a solid triangle and leave it green. So right there, okay. So uh, basically what I do is I have my name of my map. I, I went ahead, and, and this is my layer. Uh, and here I have, uh, again, my uh, two placeholders, or place marks, my one line, and my one shape. So that's what's necessary just for the uh, assignment. Of course, make sure you name it. But, of course, the other thing is, is you must then also go ahead and, and notice it automatically saves your map as you're moving along here. I guess one other point before I show you how you can actually share it is you have a base map. If you click right here, or excuse me, there's a little drop down, you actually can go like to a Google Earth view. And there's a different kind of maps you can use as your base layer when it comes to creating. I just want to use my default here. But if you want to use a Google like uh, Earth view, you can go like to satellite if you want. So this is something you can explore as well. But I just think it's easier to see on this kind of a map here. All right. So now, uh, again, once you create your map, you need to share it in class. You need to put the URL in our discussion form. So the way you do that is you go up here to share. And what it does, it brings it up, and here is the link to share. Now, again, this is very similar to the way you share Google Docs. Now, right now, it's private, so what you want to do is you need to change this and make it public. So it's very important you can do that, or you do that, make it public on the web. And once one thing is kind of neat is right now you can do view, but actually if you do can edit and make this thing public, you can actually have a bunch of people collaborate on a map. And this is a pretty neat assignment. You can actually have students, uh, you know, you create a map that's public, make it can edit and you go ahead and send the link out to your students maybe they're responsible for each putting their location of their house on the map and so you can kind of see where the you know, people in your class live all around your community or they can put historical places in town or or even anywhere in the world so that's a pretty neat uh, project and I've actually done this in a workshop before so it's something to consider but right now I'm gonna leave it on can view because that's what we want to do but I hit save all right so again basically this is the URL so all you need to do is basically come up here and go ahead and just copy or control C, uh, you know, hit done, and then you just go to the discussion forum. You paste that URL in the discussion forum. That way, people can click on it and they can go and view your map. All right, hopefully, uh, this uh, explained everything well enough for you. Again, you can either do this new map view uh, if you want, or you can go ahead and go uh, uh, and use a classic view. Whatever you want to do there will, uh, will work for me. Okay. All right, so again, hope things are going well. If you have any questions like that, uh, don't hesitate to, to contact me. All right, take care.